Hey everybody, it's Mike here, Mike's Weather Page. It's uh, April 13th, Thursday. Do a little 5 o'clock somewhere video update. Uh, we've had an interesting couple days uh, with this golf low. It definitely materialized and it's still spinning this afternoon. Uh, it's in Mississippi right now, right above my head. Um, it's, it's been incredible. The uh, radar here showing uh, feeder bands stretching all the way through the state here, Florida into Georgia. Uh, a lot of tornado warnings still, a lot of heavy rain for a lot of the area. had 25 plus inches, uh, rain training. It was it was an, an, an incredible event. Uh, never became officially marked or named. It was just a, an area of low pressure. Uh, but look at that, still spinning away. Um, the good, good uh, imagery here from water vapor shows what happened yesterday. Uh, a lot of dry air got pulled down from the north and, and wrapped around this. And we see this a lot with tropical systems, but we had a lot of rain forecasts bust today because we were supposed to get a lot of rain across the south and especially Florida. Well, yesterday we started seeing the sign of this dry air, the yellows and oranges, pretty much eliminating the, the, the moisture in the air. And uh, that's why we don't have much rain on the west side of Florida or the panhandle. Uh, but the east side still got the tails, the feeder bands, pumping some heavy 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 rain so half the state got got the effects the other half didn't get it but that was a lot of it. it's just dry air um another look at it here before we talk about what's coming uh so we had a mid-level low that popped down yesterday um uh, tuesday wednesday and we had an, a definite low pressure area but like we talked about so much you know a lot of this wind shear came across and uh kept convection from forming around the center the center was obvious on satellite but all that moisture got pu pushed aside into the north uh, yesterday uh, and never really had a chance to develop into anything. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. Uh, Colorado State uh, came out with a hurricane predictions today, predicting an almost uh, average season, a tick below normal. Uh, this is, you know, this little low pressure definitely a sign that, you know, the tropics are getting close. So we're going to be talking a lot more about the tropics here on Mark's Weather page as we enter uh, May, and it's just right around the corner. Uh, but they're they're expecting an El Nino event later in the year, but we also have warmer than average water temperatures. So that's kind of offsetting each other. But as I mentioned before, um, homegrown systems during El Nino years, uh, Michael Florence, 2004 was an El Nino year, and we had four storms across Florida there too. So, um, you know, it only takes one. We might have less numbers, but it only takes one. So what I'm watching going into the weekend, we talk about this a bunch. We do have some storms here. We're brewing. Let's check out the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, this is tomorrow. A little bit of, we got a, another, you know, low, low pressure area coming in. It's going to build storms uh, the next several days. Storm Prediction Center tomorrow. This is going to be leftover low pressures coming in. So we could have some storms tomorrow across the Carolinas, leftover from our low. So we watching this little area here. It could be some strong little storms still popping for tomorrow friday and then on uh, saturday there's our line this could be pretty uh pretty pretty strong little line of storms here we got a uh funky little tilt going on in the 500 millibar so we could have an area of storms and hail uh to watch on uh coming up here and that would be saturday take a look at it on the um water vapor loop here really good uh idea what we could be seeing here through the weekend so here's saturday morning starting you know this is just got my curious curiosity pegged uh, a lot of convection uh, ahead of this front. This is on Saturday, this weekend, coming up a couple days. Uh, and it actually builds it uh, into Florida on Sunday. And it almost passes all the way through the state. So just keep my eye on that. Uh, you know, this is the year we started getting a lot more golf blobs, we call them. Golf's warm, 80 degrees. So just, you know, keep an eye on that. If you got weekend plans across the southeast, across the upper Gulf on Saturday here, and then uh, we could see a line of storms try to make its way through the state on Sunday. Uh, some of your other maps here are definitely showing this. Uh, Sunday, 3 p.m., we could have a good little line of storms here across Sunday to watch out for. I know there's a big concert down in Fort Lauderdale with Kenny Chesney, so keep an eye on this possibility of storms across southeast Florida um, on Sunday. But now nothing showing up too severe uh from the storm prediction center with this but i always like to look ahead what's up and uh basically saturday sunday so that's really it just wanted to touch base here real quick on 
our little low pressure area it was really uh, interesting to watch and uh, it's still ongoing now with flooding going on in the east coast fort lauderdale especially strong storms happening uh tornado watches in red severe thunderstorms in blue so yeah that was uh quite interesting all right so there you go we'll be live tomorrow friday daily brew 9 19 eastern hope to see you there all right have a good evening